ดีไซเนอร์หรือว่าในแบบแบบแบบแล้วก็เพื่อนของท่านด้วย So once again I went to the photography industry and said we have to do something ก็จะมีท่านมาสู่ในเรื่องเกี่ยวกับการทำเรื่องถ่ายภาพเนี่ยท่านก็บอกท่านทำอะไรสักอย่างหนึ่งขึ้นมา I said people are dying and we're watching them and nobody knows about anything about it. We have to create some kind of awareness that everyone knows about this. They all looked at me like I was crazy again. So why are you just so involved in this? Why are you so interested? So I decided I had a handful of photographs that I was going to auction off and raise the money to create some kind of awareness for the industry. So the word got out that the guy, the crazy guy, with a little bit of English, with a very bad speaking English, is at it again, and he wants to do something to help with AIDS. And something very magical happened. In less than a couple months, we had photographers from all over the world sending photographs to be auctioned off to raise money. Everyone came together, we had 300 photographs to auction. And we raised a lot of money. And the Focus on AIDS became one of the first AIDS foundation in Los Angeles. Since then, we have built a hospital in India, we have a hospice in Tanzania, we have clinics in Myanmar, Cambodia, and we fund many clinics in the United States. Years later, when I decided I have to do something big again, again with very little money, I went to the industry and they said, we should have an Oscar for photography. We should have something like Oscar for photography. I told them there wouldn't be any movies, there wouldn't be any actors, there wouldn't be any celebrities. It wasn't because of photography. Photography is so much more important than Hollywood and film. This is the face of everything. Again, they said, are you crazy? <laughs> How are you going to bring an sports photographer, an advertising photographer, a fine art photographer, and a wedding photographer all in one room? Since in America, the photographers have very, very big ego. The guy who is a fine art photographer doesn't want to talk to the guy who is advertising photographer. 
นะคะเพราะฉะนั้นในเวลาเราพูดพูดกับใครเนี่ยแม้กระทั่งช่างภาพแค่ถ่ายภาพโฆษณาก็ถือว่ายิ่งใหญ่ And these two definitely don't want to talk to the sports photographer or the wedding photographer. So I have two major challenges with the Lucy Awards. One was to bring everyone in one room to celebrate photography. No matter what you do, how you take pictures, what you take, it's all photography. My second biggest challenge was to get the photographers to dress to come to a major event. If you know many photographers, they're the worst dressed people. So I wanted to put them all in tuxedos. And this is the first year. One second, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, this was the first year. For the first Lucy Awards, we brought in Hollywood celebrities to give photographs to the photographers. And as you can tell, we put everyone in tuxedos, and everyone looked really nice. Which most people think is the biggest accomplishment in my life. The Lucy was created and it remained after Luchin, which is the Latin word for light. It was created for one simple reason. We all have photographs that we've seen that has changed us in some way. We have seen photographs that have changed the whole course of history. We have seen photographs that have stopped the war and the killing. And we've seen many photographs that please us by looking at it. And to me it was like, wouldn't it be nice to know who is this person behind these photographs? Who are these people that sacrifice their life to go to a war and take a photograph for us to see what is happening? I wanted to bring those people to life for everyone to know them. The most amazing thing was a lot of these photographers were in the 80s and 90s. 
ดยเฉพาะที่เราสามารถที่จะนำอ and their stories were never told. And if you would see them on the streets, you would never know who they are. I wanted to have something that appreciate these people for what they've done. The Lucy Award was received very well all over the world. And it took a life of its own beyond my imagination. Again, I created something, and the whole industry, people from photography industry and from the other industries. ในทุกวัยวงศาสนาต่างๆแล้วรวมกันสร้างสรรค์อย่างนี้นะครับในเชิงด้านนี้และนี้ก็เป็นการที่เราจะมีการจัดการกับคนที่มีอำนาจมาก
in front of 1,500 people is a huge honor. If you look at what, what the Lucy Foundation does, we have a lecture series in Los Angeles and New York and soon in Bangkok. We do a portfolio reviews of professional and amateur photographers. But something very important. We give $10,000 a year. We give it away $10,000 a day, a year, sorry. A year. Yes. Yeah. To a person that can write an essay. To a person that can put together it's just a small description of what they want to shoot and how they will affect others by, by creating these documentaries. I want to get a raise of a hand of how many people would be interested in having $10,000. You know how many people here like that $10,000? $10,000. It's a very rich school, right? Eh? Oh. It's 120. I am sure everyone here knows what to do with 300,000 bucks. Well, it's very, very simple. You can earn $10,000 putting together a series of photographs. That somehow affects your life. And you want other people in the world to know about it. You don't have to be a professional photographer. You don't have to have the most latest and the greatest equipment. No excuses. We can take the photographs with your uh, cell phone, it's acceptable. America calls cell phone. What we are interested in is in your creativity. We are interested in to see how you see and how you can create a story that will affect the world. How many of you are going to send a proposal in for $10,000? No, no, no. Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can get 10 out of the whole crowd, I'll be happy. <laughs> All it takes is passion. <laughs> and dedication <laughs> to photography or interest in wanting to change the world. Also in the Lucy Foundation, we have Snapshot. We take students from poor areas of Los Angeles and New York, and we teach them the photography industry. Encourage them to study photography and think of photography as a possible career. We do monthly projections every Thursday. We do a projection in Los Angeles and New York, and soon we'll be doing it in Bangkok. 
ขาก็ดูเลยนะแต่ละช็อตนี้มันในเรื่องการที่เขาจะทำเขาบอกจากจากลอสแอนเจลิสมาที่แบงคอกทำได้ This is to discover and promote younger talents. เขาต้องเขาต้องการคนพบอะคนพบคนที่แบบมีพรสวรรค์แล้วก็สามารถที่จะส่งเสริมคนพวกนี้ให้ประสบความสำเร็จได้ We also put together 30 days of celebration in month of April. เขาบอกว่าเขาสามารถที่จะ celebrate ก็คือหมายถึงยกย่องนะคะต่อเดือนนะยกย่องคนที่ทำได้สำเร็จสามารถทำได้ If you happen to be in Los Angeles in April, you see exhibitions in every corner of Los Angeles. You see lectures and you see people celebrating the art of photography. จะเห็นเลยว่าจะมีทั้งการบรรยายมีทั้งการที่จะยกย่องคนที่จะได้นะในเดือนนี้ค่ะทุกแห่งเลย I would like to invite everyone to go get a visa to San Jose. เราบอกว่าหวังว่าทุกคนจะได้วีซ่าจากทางสาธารณรัฐปรบมือให้ท่านทุกคนเลยค่ะ And come visit me in Los Angeles in April. แล้วก็ไปพบเขาที่ Los Angeles เลยค่ะSo for those of you that think ten thousand dollars is not enough, we have other events. I know many ladies here think you can't even buy a bag with ten thousand dollars. You can promise more than that. But. IPA will give you over twenty thousand dollars. We give over twenty thousand dollars cash to photographers. For submitting their work. And we have over eighty juries from around the world, some of the top people in the industry, that will look and judge the work. เราก็สามารถได้คนที่มากกว่าเลยนะแปดสิบคนทั่วโลกที่จะมาเป็นผู้ตัดสิน So for all those of you that ten thousand dollars is not enough, twenty thousand dollars might be twenty five thousand dollars might be more interesting. เขาบอกว่าหมื่นดอลลาร์นั้นยังไม่พออาจจะมีความฝันที่จะมาถึงไกลถึงสองหมื่นสองหมื่นห้าอะไรประมาณนี้ด้วย So so far, you can make money in photography and you can live for a long, long time. คุณสามารถที่จะมีชีวิตอยู่ได้ยาวนานจากการทำเงินในการเป็นชีวิตเลยเมื่อคุณถึงสองปีของ IPA ของเราจะบอกคุณว่าพวกเราทำเงินในการเป็นชีวิตเราจะให้ดูนะคะว่าคนที่เขาสามารถที่จะเป็นผู้ชนะใน IPA Award ที่ผ่านมาจริงๆThese are the winners of our professional category. Chris Fraser Smith is a British photographer. His day rate, which is one of the lowest day rate in our industry. It's five to ten thousand dollars per day. Oh, Timothy White is an American photographer. Timothy White is an American photographer. He's photographed many of the Visa, Mastercard, and American Express ads that you see. His day rate is twenty-five thousand dollars an hour. Jim Fiskus is a trendsetter in our business. He's done many of the Nike, Nike ads that you guys see everywhere. When he creates his style, everyone follows. เขาก็จะเรื่องเรื่องเกี่ยวกับศิลปะเนี่ยเขาจะเป็นคนที่ค่อนข้างที่จะทำตรงนี้ได้ดี
Then Ludwig is a National Geographic photographer. He won these awards for his photographing of the ball of Soviet Union. Uh, this is what the thing broke when it can come. It's and the Chechen is the Chernobyl disaster, Massimo Mastroli is a is a Italian photographer. That loves to go to each other. For a pretty boy, he just took in a lot of trouble. I never know how he gets into situations to take the pictures. But he's photographed the gangs in South Africa, he's photographed in, in South America all over. He gets to places that no one dares to go.